Looking for a way to put all that time stuck inside to good use? Martha Stewart has an idea, a recipe from her latest cookbook, Martha Stewart's Cookie Perfection. Hi everyone. I'm cooped up in my kitchen in my yard just like all of you. But I try to make the best of this horrific time by cooking, by crafting, by gardening, by doing all the things I actually really love to do and sometimes don't have enough time to do it. Baking is one of my favorite pastimes and today I want to show you how to make one of my very, very, very favorite cookies. It's called the Kitchen Sink Cookie. It's a big cookie. One cookie should last you all day long. And although you might not have every ingredient in your pantry, if you don't, you can substitute nuts for nuts, dried fruits for dried fruits. Let's get going. Let's get baking. Start by creaming the butter with the sugar. There, that goes in. I have everything in what I call mise en place, put in place because I want to make sure that I have all my ingredients before I start to bake. Oh, and by the way, did I mention? Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Always have a rubber scraper. Big Martha, my mom, taught me about rubber scrapers, and they're really great. A good habit to get into to scrape down the bowl. It is a very uh, sturdy dough, so it takes a lot of elbow grease, but you can make this by hand if you don't have a mixer. What did our forefathers do? They didn't have electric mixers and they made cookies. And while the machine is running, add two large eggs. I am so lucky I have chickens in my backyard and I collect the eggs every single day. Yesterday we got 68 eggs. I was so happy. And then sift your dry ingredients. We're using a white unbleached flour. Oh, two teaspoons of vanilla. I hope I have enough. We don't want to run out of anything during this pandemic. So check your pantry all the time because you don't know how long we're going to be confined to our homes. And I am going to add the, on low speed the flour. Oatmeal first. Unsweetened coconut. That can go in there. I guess I could add the pecans. Do you say pecans or pecans? Sharing cookies is a real joy. I can leave a basket of these cookies on doorsteps here and there in the neighborhood. Dennis Leary lives across the street and he's always up for a bunch of cookies, as is the great chef Daniel Ballou. This looks so good, I'm gonna taste it. I'm a cookie dough fanatic and I love to taste my cookie doughs. I will not do that on TV though. In go the apricots, dried cherries, oh, so good. And the chocolate. Mm, can you get a good picture of that? Look how good this looks. Bake until they are just slightly brown around the edges. When they come out of the oven, first of all, your kitchen smells so good. And secondly, the cookies taste so good. Mmm. All of you at CBS are gonna love these cookies. I hope you enjoy baking as much as I do. And you know what? We're gonna get through this. We're gonna be okay. Uh, and please, bake, cook, enjoy as much as you can this time with your family. See you soon.